This week in Jamaica now, Pitbull kills two-year-old girl and injures her sister, major discrepancies uncovered at the Electoral Commission of Jamaica, and Transparency International gives Jamaica another low grade on its anti-corruption scale. Hello, I'm Charlene Short, thanks for joining us. A two-year-old is dead and her sister injured after they were attacked by a pit bull on Tuesday night in Rose Hall near Linstead in St. Catherine. The dead girl has been identified as Renika Gregory. Renika and her sister were walking through a yard when they were attacked by the dog. The police say the two girls were taken to hospital where Renika was pronounced dead and her sister treated for injuries she sustained during the attack. On Thursday, December 6, the pit bull was put to death by the Jamaica Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. The Auditor General Department has found a number of troubling discrepancies at the Electoral Commission of Jamaica, the ECJ. According to the Auditor General, the ECJ has consistently ignored regulations and directives. The report found that the ECJ has never produced an audited financial statement and that the ECJ ignored directives from the Finance Ministry to pay its Deputy Director of Elections at a stipulated level. According to the Auditor General's department, it also found that the ECJ pegged the salaries of the elections director and his deputy to those of the Director General of the Office of the Utilities Regulations and his deputy. But this was done without the approval of the Parliament. It was also found that the ECJ has no effective system to verify the age or date of birth of persons seeking to become registered voters, and that the procedure to process dead electors didn't take into account any death data from the Registrar General's Department as is required by the Representation of the People Act. The government's spending is under the microscope again. This time, there are concerns about how much it's costing taxpayers to fund the rental of properties from ministries, departments and agencies. The Chief Executive Officer of the Public Sector Transformation Unit on Thursday, November 5, revealed that the government is spending $1.1 billion on rent. And this cost could be higher because four ministries didn't submit their rental bills. The Minister with Responsibility for Information, Sandria Faulkner, has conceded that this is a significant sum given the fact that there are scores of buildings owned by the state that can be refurbished and used as office space. She says the government will have to examine how it can use these buildings to house government departments and agencies. Anti-corruption watchdog Transparency International has given Jamaica yet another failing grade on its Corruption Perception Index. Jamaica has been ranked 83 out of 176 countries with a score of 38. Transparency International uses a scale which ranges from 0 to 100, with 0 being highly corrupt and 100 being very clean. This year, Transparency International changed its methodology for the Corruption Perception Index. In 2011, it used a scale which ranged from 0 to 10, with 0 being highly corrupt and 10 being very clean. At that time, Jamaica scored 3.3. The Corruption Perception Index measures how corrupt experts think a country's public sectors are. Jamaica now has an acting contractor general. On November 30, the Governor General, Sir Patrick Allen, appointed Craig Beresford to act until further notice. Mr. Beresford is the Senior Director of Operations in the Office of the Contractor General. He replaces Greg Christie, who demitted office on November 30. And that's it for this edition of Jamaica Now, your weekly review of all the big stories making the news. We're always happy to hear from you, so please continue to share your thoughts with us at onlinefeedback at gleanajm.com. Tune in to Power 106 FM for regular updates and do follow us on Twitter at Jamaica Gleaner. I'm Charlene Stewart inviting you to join us for another edition of Jamaica Now.